congratulations to Kira Dudley, who is the winner of the Dell Scholars Award. Kira will receive a $20,000 scholarship, a laptop, textbook credits, and a network of resources. A scholarship is now available for seniors who are going directly into the workplace. Staff Quick is a full-service staffing agency dedicated to helping people find their place in the workplace. They have a variety of opportunities available for new graduates who are ready to join the workforce directly out of high school. Hard copy applicants for this $250 scholarship are available with Mrs. Baker in room 324B. This application window is open through April 1st. Mr. Reed will be hosting a mock SAT on Wednesday, March 30th, Thursday, March 31st, and Saturday, April 2nd. Scan the QR code to register or see Mr. Reed in room 137. Interested in a career in nursing? Join Amy McFadden from Lakeview College of Nursing in the Little Theater on Tuesday, March 29th at 11 a.m. to hear more about what Lakeview has to offer. DHS will be hosting a blood drive on Wednesday, April 6th in the Little Theater. Sign-ups are available by using the QR code with Ms. Sieber in room 228 or in the library. Donors must be at least 17 years old or 16 with a signed parent permission slip. Local scholarships are beginning to come in. The QR code below will take you to the 2022 DHS scholarship offering in Google Sheet. Please check this on a regular basis as scholarships will continue to be added. Scholarships have separate applications and instructions. Some scholarships have a link to separate information related to the application. Some applications will need to be printed off, filled in, and sent directly to the donors. Please follow the instructions carefully to ensure your application is submitted correctly and on time. As a reminder, scholarships are gifts. Someone has either raised or earned money to help students pay for college expenses. Your application needs to reflect the hard work someone else has put in for your benefit. Scholarships are competitions. Each donor is looking for something specific, but all are looking for the best candidate. Your application will be compared to other students, so this is the time to brag about yourself. Let people know about all the interesting and exciting things you are doing in and out of school. The more completely you present yourself, the better your chances are of earning a scholarship. Scholarships are limited. Not everyone who applies for a scholarship will receive one. That's why your application has to show you at your best. The first set of scholarships are due February 15th, so don't delay. Reach out to your school counselor if you have any questions or need assistance. high school students and staff this is Miss Cherry your principal and if no one's told you today that they love you Miss Cherry does welcome back everyone I'm so excited that we are all here together once again and we have very little time before the end of the school year and it really goes very quickly the first thing I want to talk to you about this morning is a great opportunity for all students at Danville High School we are bringing back the HBCU um, opportunity at Danville High School. This will be on Thursday, April 28th, in conjunction with Ubuntu uh, Mentoring Group with Mr. Groves. And um, the important thing that I need to remind you is that you have to go in and register and you need to go in at www.danvillehbcufair.com. There is information on the DHS website and the DHS um, Facebook page, um, but most importantly, please go in and register. And remember, this is for all students. It doesn't have to be just African-American students. It's historically black. College Union, yes it is, but um, all of those colleges are very diversified these days. So you never know, there are lots of scholarship opportunities available, so go check it out on April 28th, but register first. 
I also want to remind students about the expectations. As the weather gets warm, we constantly have to remind our students about the standard of dress. So please make sure that you're following it um, because um, we will make you change if you come to school inappropriately dressed. Um, also, this Wednesday is an early dismissal day for all Danville High School students. And next week, April 5th and April 7th, are parent-teacher conferences and students will be dismissed early on those days. And then Friday, April 8th, we do not have school on that day. Just a reminder for all of you. The most important thing is that you need to remember to take advantage of the tutoring that's available to you after school to support you with your grades. Um, the semester is really coming to a quick close and I just want to remind students that there is help available to you. All you have to do is take advantage of it. We do provide transportation home on tutoring days, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Um, and that's important. Like, there's no excuses. You can get a ride home, but we are here to assist you as much as possible. I also want to remind all of our students that um, April, the week of April 16th, I believe it is, is testing for all students. The schedule will be um, posted on the Facebook page as well as the DHS website, um, but you will also get plenty of reminders here at school. Um, but the most important thing is that you need to come prepared to do your best. Don't just show up and um, put anything down on that test. It's important. Uh, the state is taking it seriously once again, uh, so we need you to do your absolute best. Um, that's really all I have for you at this point. Um, I just want to thank all of our students for a uh, smooth transition with our clear backpacks. It is extremely helpful in getting students in the building a lot quicker through the wanding process, and so we appreciate your mm -hmm. support. Um, as a final reminder, I want to remind students of the expectation as far as your behavior in school and remember that there is very little time to, for the end of the school year and um, any major discipline issues could result in you um, not only missing out on the remainder of this school year but also next year. And we don't want to do that. We don't want any of our students to experience that. But we take it very serious um, when students do not um, conduct themselves in a respectful manner. So if you need to talk to someone, we have a wonderful Student Support Service Center downstairs in room 124. We have our um, behavior interventionist, Ms. Vollmer, and all of our um, social workers, Mrs. Smith and uh, Mrs. Lomax, they're available to assist you in any way. Please take advantage of that. Please don't try to handle things on your own. That's what we're here for. So thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.